Hi people, Tony Edge's vlog, how you doing? Right, just been in the canal today, supporting, and unfortunately the canal is a dirty place to be. Good for ducks, no good for me if I want to remain clean. Unfortunately my boy's always in the water, I'm not. Well, we're a bit lucky, fingers crossed. Um, what I'd like to say today is, uh, camera lady needs to catch you up. Are we there? Cool? Yeah. Sorry folks, apprentice. The professionals off today. <laughs> Basically, the ball gets very, very dirty. Uh, I just like to explain to you folks what I do and how I sort of try and look after my board and what I do with it. Um, it's two bare feet board. This one's 12 foot long. Obviously, it's catered for my weight uh, and height. Um, obviously, it's very important when picking up a sub board that you get the one that's right for you. Um, this I've had here about 12 months. Uh, when I go my little canal ventures that you've seen in my recent other videos, I cover about six miles, uh, which I don't know if that's too sort of too short for some people or too long for others. I have no idea. Um, it takes me about an hour and forty to cover it with this board, and I predict the speed being, or guesstimate, probably about three miles per hour uh, with a good paddle. Um, so it's not the fastest board, but it's a good all-round board, and I'm happy with it. Uh, the damage to this board after 12 months has been zero to the board. Um, my son has a slightly cheaper board, which I will do a review on some other time. But on my son's board, where the padding is here, his is set to peel up, and it's only at half the use of this board. So. Um, it doesn't always pay dividends of get the cheapest of boards, I don't think. This one here was, I think, four to five hundred pounds with the carbon paddle. Uh, I've had nothing but bloody good to say about this board, really. It's, uh, it, it's, it's been fantastic. Um, has a nice big fin, so you, you obviously big fin is, is good for tracking in a straight line. Um, obviously, a really good leash. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there, there's no problems with it. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this board. Uh, stability wise, fantastic. I've had it in the sea, the lake, uh, canal, and generally uh, I do all sorts with this board. It's not specialised to one thing, but it's a really good all round board, uh, especially for beginners, I think. Um, but again, I must say, just get the right size board for yourself. Don't be just looking, that'll do, get buzz. It, it'll make the sport twice as hard for you, that's if you can even get up. So, board size is very, very important. Downfall. This is the paddle. I uh, There's a few options with this board, and I went for the carbon fibre option uh, paddle, which is uh, uh, probably two three times the price of, of the standard one to come with a board um, obviously you put together and then you adjust your height so forth here clip today we're paddling in the canal um, I'm not sure if the camera can get this in uh, where are we where are we here I'm not sure if you guys can see that but there's a crack probably about an inch and a half long um, not too happy i mean i'm a powerful paddler but expected a little bit more from these so going lighter has probably cost me the strength of the paddle i would say don't know too much about them yet but i do know that the paddle i'm looking up to buy next is probably going to be excess of maybe two to three hundred pounds which is a, a lot of money but i do do a lot with the soft board so I'll be looking into it, let you folks know how I'll get on. Um, the wife isn't too happy with two or three hundred pounds. <laughs> Never mind, eh? Um, but yeah, yeah, fantastic. We'll uh, look into that and, well, I need a new paddle. So, but, uh, I'll be looking to get more Monday, folks. So the videos will be coming thick and strong. Anyway, enough of that. I shall let you now see a process that's of me using uh, a little handheld brush, soapy water. It's first stage of cleaning the board off and the holes. Thank you.
Whoa. How fast was that, folks? I mean, come on, record time. Cool. Right, now the board's drying off. Wait for the board's dry off, or if you've got an old tea towel that uh, your mum or your wife doesn't mind using, you know, rub it, use it, speed things up. <laughs> I'm being lazy waiting for my, uh, uh, mine to dry, um, so I'll speak to you guys in between, which makes sense. Um, also, as well, because I'm mega lazy. Um, so if you can get this in the camera this here is an electric pump and my board uh, being such a big board uh, inflates to 18 psi now my son's is 15 psi now uh, my good lady behind me is one that drops me off to the canal and picks me up uh, from point B after the paddle uh, so I'm gonna ask my wife now a question because <laughs> I'm not quite sure how long it is. She's very camera shy, folks. Uh, how long would you say that it takes this to uh, pump up my bar to 18 psi? About 10 to 15 minutes, I think. About 10 to 15 yeah, minutes. It takes you about half an hour from me dropping you off to you being on the canal. Yeah. Uh, folks, if uh, you're not as fast as me, <laughs> I mean, there's good news. You can have a smaller board. Now, a smaller board means lower pressure. So when this thing gets up to 15 psi, it, it does it quite easily. But when you go past 15 psi, the 15 to the 18, that 3 psi, this little pump here, is working mega, mega hard. So, and sometimes it's actually failed and I've got that and I've had to finish off with a pump. So, um, is it worth the money? It is when it's working right. And uh, you might want a cup of tea while watching your board uh, being blown up by this little machine. And uh, might have a laugh for your son who doesn't get to use it, and they're always on the pump. Well, bless him. <laughs> right, uh, my next stage of cleaning the board is uh, I'll be using a certain make of car wax. So I believe they can't mention what make it is. Uh, it's pretty good quality. Um, uh, also, I can't tell you what it is, but I, I suppose any car wax is, is suitable for this. The reason I use car wax is I, I think with the board, obviously. Uh, being in the sun a lot, um, it protects us from UV rays and helps keep its colour, I think. And uh, yeah, I mean, it certainly gets rid of uh, stubborn marks as well. So, what we'll do, folks, we'll uh, get these arms into action, speed this thing up, and uh, yeah, you see, wax me board, and uh, I'll be back to you in a bit. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, after that, sweating. Um, with the camera lady, my good wife, would like to show us the British weather at the minute. Fan bloody tastic. <laughs> right, um, as you can see now, the board has been uh, uh, waxed. Uh, you see the water is beading on there. But uh, it's, it's not about the beading of the water for me, it's just basically taking out uh, all the stains and the marks and generally looking after the board. Um, something that uh, when I was growing up they never had much in life so anything I do get now I tend to try and look after and appreciate what I've got. Um, just show you the fin quickly folks, quite easy on the, uh, the ice ups. You see how it goes. Um, this clip here, can we see? Goes like so locks it in place so fairly sturdy i mean this fin's been on 12 months there's a few marks on there but they're, they're fairly stable they're, 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 they take a bit of punishment in all fairness so yeah i'm really happy with that uh, the board the board on the make is don't think anybody see that it's a two bare feet, it's a 12 foot board, Sport Air XL, even teal, obviously the colour of the board. Fantastic looking board, um, I'm really happy with this. Uh, oh. You have to excuse me folks, because if I get it wrong, I've literally got a seven foot drop that I do not need to be falling. <laughs> uh, the pad itself, 
have literally just been cleaned. Um, I do nothing else with that really apart from the cleaning side of it. So just to uh, evaluate what I've done to the board. Um, apparently it would like to come higher. She's, uh, unfortunately my wife is only uh, two foot tall. Uh, bit of a midget but you know she's a she's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so basically we use a hot soapy water, uh, hose it off, brush it down, whatever else got the worst off it, we let it dry out, then we use a wax uh, to, to basically try and take out some of the harder stains that stuck in. Uh, obviously buff off the wax, much the same as a car really, um, and I feel the office of protection with the UV off the sun. Um, I feel if I didn't do this to the board, it wouldn't look half as good as what it does now. I'm not sure if anybody else does this, but this is what I do to look after my board, and I hope this helps. Just bear with me. <laughs> Alright folks, if you like what you've seen today, please put a like, share and a subscribe, as uh, it really does help and all that. But uh, thanks for watching me, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.